So today we'll be doing an oil change, our first oil change on my Yamaha FX Cruiser. This is a FX HO 1.8. It's got uh, the non-turboed engine. This process should be the same with the turboed engine. Or the supercharged engine, I suppose. But these are the items you will need for this oil change. Got five quarts of Yamalube 10W40. The oil filter, this particular filter number is the 69J-13440-04. And then you will also need an oil extractor. This is the one that I got. It's a HT Moto. This will allow us to get all the oil out of the engine. It's a little different than a regular car because we don't have a drain hole. We have to pull it out of the actual um, dipstick hole. This is how you'll set up the extraction pump. Got your hose here that's going to go inside the dipstick hole. And your clear hose here, it's going to show you that the oil is indeed coming out. And you've got your pump here. So you'll set everything in there and you'll start the siphon. And once you get a, a flow, you should be able to let the siphon do most of the work. And I believe each one of these is a quart. And uh, that'll show you how much oil you've taken out. Run this thing for five minutes um, with the obviously water supply hooked up. That'll get your oil nice and warm. If it's been sitting in the water a while, it'll loosen up some of the sludge in it, get everything filtered through. And uh, now that it's been run, you can pull your dipstick out, and set that off to the side. And you're going to take the end of your black hose and you're going to shove this thing all the way down as far as you can into the bottom of that engine. Got the hose inside the engine compartment there, inside the oil pan all the way down there. Now we're going to come down here and we'll start some pump and you should see the oil start coming down. The clear hose momentarily. Let's see it trickling down right about now. Ten pumps or so. And ideally, this creates a siphon, and once you get it going, it should stay going for a little bit. You might have to come back every few minutes and pump it a few times, but from here on, we're just going to make sure that the oil stays flowing. As you can see here, pretty much all out. We're getting mostly bubbles now. And we've got one, two, three, about four quarts here. That's in the bottom of that. So we just need to make sure that we put back that much in and then we'll check our dipstick and top off as needed. Now we're inside the engine bay. This is on the left side, right below the manifold exhaust manifold here. Um, if you're doing this right after you guys run it, just be careful of that. It shouldn't be too hot, but always check it. That's your oil filter here. You want to pull that off next. And when you pull it off, as soon as you, you get it unscrewed, you want to tip it up as soon as you can. Hopefully by now most of the oil has run out of it, um, but it might be beneficial to put something underneath there just in case to catch any drippage. And depending on how tight this is, you might need an oil filter wrench. Let's see if we can get this one off by hand here.
your new filter. I've kind of taken some oil and rubbed it on the o-ring and on the threads. Thread it back in. And we're going for a strong hand tight. All done with the filter now we'll just start refilling the oil back up okay so now we got our oil fill cap open we took four quarts out so we'll put about three and a half in and then we will um, start it back up let the oil that we put in kind of filter through the engine and fill the oil filter and then we'll check the oil level again and top off as needed Put our dipstick back in and fire it up. Let it run for a minute. Put about three and a half quarts in as of now. All right, it's run for a couple minutes now. And we're going to check the oil. Clean it off first. Most of the way up there. Yep, that's at the full line, so we don't even need to top it off. It's full right now. Just make sure you clean up all your mess, including your pad underneath the filter if you. Uh, had one. And that's it. Hope this video helped you guys.